Since I made a video a few days ago about how to profit from the next operation, it would only make sense if I made one about the upcoming major as well. Since Armour was such a strange circumstance unlike anything we've seen before and left a huge amount of supply in all the stickers since the sale lasted so long, it leaves a lot of questions with this upcoming major. So today, I'll talk about what we can expect to see and based off that, how to make some money. So as always, if you enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe if you are in the majority of people that watch these videos and aren't yet. And just before we get into it, let's of course talk about our sponsor, Skimport. Skimport is a CSGO marketplace that has 160,000 plus skins on their site, so you can find anything you want. And those skins are anywhere from 20 to 30% off Steam market price. Looking to snag up a knife play skin for cheap, maybe a stiletto tiger tooth? Well, you can get it on Skimport for only $170, while on the Steam market it would cost you nearly $250. And of course, there's no hidden fees or anything like that when you buy. It's always a number on your screen, whether for buying or selling, so you always know what you're paying and receiving. And if you are looking to sell skins for real money, they're great for that too. For items over $1,000, they only have a 6% selling fee, and they're a completely safe and trustworthy site with a 4.9 rating on Trustpilot. So be sure to sign up with that link in the description today. Helps me out a lot and helps you save a ton of money. But for now, let's get right into the video. So what can we expect to see in this next major? I mean, the last major was in August to September of 2019, over two years ago now. So I can't blame you if you forgot, but at the same time, I think we're going to see some new stuff as well that some of you might not know about. First of all, patches. I think we're definitely going to see some team patches involved in the next major. They were in the game files before the ESL1 real major got cancelled and I think it would definitely make sense to have them and they would probably look good as well unlike the patches we got with Broken Fang and since CSGO devs are adding patches with Broken Fang I assume they're trying to make it a more I guess notable thing and it would make sense to add it in the major since that seems to be their game plan. I think major patches would have a much better price trend than the operation passes as well, but I'll get into that more if we actually see them in the major. For now it's just speculation, so let's move on. We're practically guaranteed to see player autograph capsules this time around. I mean, they've been in all recent majors, and with a 75% sale for usually the last 2-3 to three weeks towards the end of the major, hopefully not any longer, or we'll end up with a case similar to RMR stickers where there's just way too many in supply, but unlike RMR stickers, we might not just see team capsules. I believe Valve in the past has just made it possible to buy the team stickers on their own when they're not in an actual capsule so you could support each team individually. I have no idea if this is the most profitable way for Valve to do it, which leads me to believe there's definitely a possibility that they add team sticker capsules as well, especially with the release of RMR capsules and gold team stickers alongside them. I think it's very possible that we do see it. but. Valve is definitely going to have to be wary of leaving these capsules on sale for too long like they did with RMR capsules because it absolutely destroys their price on the market. With the vast majority of paper stickers being only 3 cents and the vast majority of hollows not even being worth the capsule they run boxed in and the golds are extremely undervalued for how rare they are as well. So. If there is no gold team stickers in the next major, it could very well be good if you hold your current RMR gold stickers, but either way, I recommend holding RMR stickers at this point since they're so cheap, it's just simply not worth selling, but it was definitely a disaster. Maybe not for Valve since they made their money, but for investors, there's so much in supply that it makes it extremely difficult to sell even months after the event has ended, but I'm still holding strong and I think you guys should too. But moving on, we're also presumably going to see some sort of major pass that allows you to do pick'ems, challenges, work your way towards getting the diamond coin, and at the same time giving you souvenir package drops. I've just got to imagine this makes Valve a lot more money than the method they did in the past, which is just watch the major on Twitch, link your account, and you'll have a chance at the drop. So I'm sure they're going to keep it this way since the pass obviously costs money and they're just farming money off that. So now we've got our options on the table. 
Guaranteed, we should have player autographs, souvenir packages, team stickers in some way, but we don't know how you'll be able to get them, a viewing pass, and potentially some team patches on top of all of that. So for investing, I always think player autographs are a good buy, specifically gold stickers of good players. These stickers are always incredibly difficult to get simply because of how many players are in each capsule, which leaves the supply really limited. If we look at the simple gold from Berlin 2019, this thing had a really solid increase in price after these stickers were out of the game and we had a ton of hype throughout the summer, but you can also notice the dip at the beginning. I always recommend waiting to buy these stickers or really anything related to the major until we see these things go on sale, which usually starts towards the end of the major the last few weeks, so you do have to bite your tongue for a bit and be patient, but if you're an investor, it will save you money. But we have seen a lot of good results in the past. Souvenir packages do you think are a bit more difficult because there hasn't been a major in a really long time, so looking at the package from most recent 2019 Berlin major just shows a consistent increase in price surprisingly, but if we look at the London 2018 major, it's surprisingly pretty similar as well. Took a bit longer for it to really get started increasing and looks to have started increasing more drastically the longer and longer this major got delayed. It should definitely take a hit when the next major souvenir packages come around, but if you're comfortable holding these souvenir packages as a long-term investment, they seem to pay off in the past. And especially with the past souvenir packages being at a pretty decent price already since there hasn't been a major in so long, I think they're going to be a pretty solid investment this time around as I mean we're missing out on like two years supply of them so I can't really blame investors for jumping in on them this time around hopefully. Either way I think they're a good long term investment. But very good news, the CSGO player count is back in the green for the past 30 days as we're getting into the fall months. Player counts always drop during the summer and of course we have a major not too far ahead of us with hopefully an operation shortly after that. So many good things to look forward to in CSGO and as I've said in many of my recent videos, I think now we're going to start to see prices begin to take off again in these upcoming months with many players coming back to the game and just getting into the game with all this new content set to begin. Overall, I think with a boosted player count from the major, investing or owning play skins that have shown to appreciate in the past, which you can actually watch one of my recent videos on if you want to learn more about that, and whether you're looking at buying player capsules directly, usually the Legends capsules are the best, as they have the most notable players, or stickers with players that have, I guess, built a brand so to speak, or just household names, whatever you want to call it, you can make a lot of money investing in the next major if you're smart. But besides all that, I think that does wrap it up for this video. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, of course, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future investing videos. And of course, check out the homies over at Skinport as well. Save yourself some money buying those skins you want and cash out safely and securely. But that's it. So for now, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.